pray for you bills and to all who are listening and watching welcome to another learning episode in science 4 i am teacher jed and i am here to make you explore imagine and enjoy the world of science when you were in grade 3 you learned that materials undergo changes either solid to liquid or liquid to solid because of temperature. Can you still recall what will happen to a material when exposed to sunlight or hot temperature? Yes, it will melt or turn to a liquid material. Next, what if you put a material like a water inside a refrigerator? What do you think will happen? Yes! It will freeze. In connection to this, our lesson for today is all about changes in materials that has useful or harmful effects to one's environment. Are you ready to learn this new topic? So, if you are ready, please prepare your pen, your paper, and your learning activity sheet. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to Identify changes in the materials, whether useful or harmful, to one's environment. Try to observe these activities happening in our environment. When materials are molded or changed into toys or any other household materials, it brings change, right? So with these changes, do you think it is useful? Yes, you are right. So, when changes that happen to a material has a good purpose or beneficial, then it is useful. On the other hand, try to look at this example. continuously throw waste in land surface and pollute them, will it make change? Yes, it will become or it will be land pollution. Land pollution is the deposition of solid or liquid waste materials on land or underground in a manner that can contaminate the soil and ground water. How about if they keep on polluting the water by making it toxic? Will it bring change? Yes, it will now be having a bad effect to our environment. And this is an example of water pollution. Water pollution is the release of substances into bodies of water that makes it unsafe for plants, animals, and humans. Next, how about if there is too much smoke coming from vehicles and factories and makes the air dirty and full of chemicals? What do we call this? Will it cause change to our environment? Yes! And if this continue to happen, it will lead to air pollution. Air pollution is the release of pollutants into the air which are detrimental to human health 
and the planet as a whole. My dear pupils, do you think all those changes will bring harm to our environment? Yes, if this continue to happen, it will make our surrounding or our environment in a bad condition. So, my dear pupils, what could we make so that these problems be solved or lessened? We can do something. And what are these? We can lessen this problem by doing the 5 R's in solid waste management. What do we mean by 5 R's? What are the 5 R's in solid waste management? First, recycle. It is when we creatively change the physical characteristics of material to a new and fresh one. For instance, soft drinks bottle, wherein we change it to become a flower vase. Second, reduce. It is when you minimize the consumption of disposable products to avoid the increasing number of plastics material. For example, instead of buying disposable plates and glass, you choose to use washable plates and glass. Next, reuse. It is when we use again materials like instead of using plastic bags, an eco bag is more reliable. Then, repair. It is when we try to fix broken materials instead of throwing them. For instance, a TV that is malfunctioning, yet we just try to repair it instead of buying a new one. And lastly, rot. It is when we make a compost pit or bin in the yard for decomposing fruits and vegetables, which later becomes an organic compost. So my dear pupils, I am counting on you. Let's work together. At this point, I know you are ready for the practice exercise. You may now answer this by writing your answer on your answer sheet or directly on the learning activity sheet. Identify whether such changes in the materials are useful or harmful to the environment by putting a check mark in the proper column. Number one, cutting a piece of cloth to be made into handkerchief. Number two, burning of plastic materials. Number three, growing plants in the backyard. Number four, dumping waste at the vacant lot. And number five, repainting furniture. Are you excited to know the results? Okay, let us check your answers. I hope you will get all the correct answers. But if not, you may always go back to this practice exercise. So the correct answers are... So the correct answer is... Number one, useful. Number two, harmful 
Number three, useful. Number four, harmful. And number five, useful. Let us remember, some changes in the materials are useful to the environment, while others are harmful. Other examples of useful changes are cutting of piece of cloth to be made into handkerchief, cutting of fabric to be made into clothes, cutting and shaping pieces of wood or lumber into chair, and changing wood into charcoal for cooking. Those are only some of the positive changes which has a good effect to our environment. Other examples of harmful changes are burning of old tires and other plastic materials, polluting the air, water, and land. Therefore, to keep our surroundings clean and to prevent or minimize pollution in our environment, just like what I said, people are encouraged to do the 5 R's. And what are those? 5 R's of solid waste management, reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and rot. So my dear pupils, let us now have the evaluation. Don't worry because this is just part of checking whether you learn or you have something learned from our discussion. The direction, write through if the statement is correct and false if not. Number one, changes in materials could be useful or harmful to the environment. Number two, it is helpful to throw garbage in the water. Number three, cutting trees bring harm to the people. Number four, using eco bag or native baskets instead of plastic bag is one way of helping the environment clean. Number five, reuse, recycle, reduce, Run, repair are the best ways to conserve the environment. So are you excited to know if your answer is correct? Okay, I will be now revealing the correct answer. Don't worry if you did not get a perfect score. You can always go back to the video on my official YouTube channel, Teacher Jen. And guess what? You can download the lesson. So let me now present to you the answer key. So the correct answer is number one, two, number two, false. Number three, true. Number four, true. Number five, true. So that is the end of our lesson today. I hope you had fun learning while watching this video. Again, this is Teacher Jet. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel 
See you in our next Sayan Terrific episode. Bye!